What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about the latest changes to both Phantom and Michelle. Both have now been completely reworked and no longer carry the horizontal jetpacks as a tactical. Instead, they both have new hero skills to complement their overall abilities. Let's go over the changes starting with Michelle. While her ult pretty much stayed the same, at level 9, allies will be able to enjoy increased reload speed while jumping on the stage. Now, even though this doesn't sound like anything gate breaking, any advantages that you have over your opponent, such as being able to reload your gun quicker, it's always an advantage to have. There are changes to both her tacticals. Instead of her horizontal jetpack, now Michelle is able to do sonic tracking. Sonic tracking is amazing. It releases a sound wave in a fan shaped pattern, tracking locating enemies within the area. At level 3, tracked enemies will also have reduced speed, which can create havoc for opponents on the field. Base blaster damage has been reduced by 25%, I believe. However, you are now able to carry two since the beginning, and at level 6, you're able to carry an extra base blaster for a total of three. Michelle is pretty much a one-man army being able to spot enemies now, cast damage, and provide cover for herself with the stage, making her one of the top choices in the game as a defending character. Phantom has lost her ability to do horizontal dash, uh, but she has a brand new tactical called Phantom Crash. Phantom Crash is a trap earring that deals continuous AoE damage to enemies nearby. At level 3, you are able to carry an additional trap. Portable Scout has improved now as you can deal extra headshot damage with sniper rifles and pretty much embedding the old passive. You're also able to increase the duration and range of the scan at level 6. Phantom's ult has drastically changed as she no longer covers the entire party under her invisibility cloak. Instead, she can hide only herself now for a short period of time. And at level 9, you can increase the entire enemy's team movement speed within the range of the optic camo. I'll be honest here with you guys, I really enjoyed her previous ult, however I can see how this ult is more balanced for opponents, as only Phantom can try and sneak out on enemies. Quick disclaimer though, enemies can still hear you and notice when you're around. I almost recommend this ult more of a defensive mechanism, and use it to flee last resort if need. Just know that your gun will be holstered while you are invisible too as well, and the enemies can see the shape of you while invis. So be careful with this ult, take some time to play with it and adjust. I'm leaving you guys with some Michelle and Phantom gameplay. Let me know which rework you enjoyed the most. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Hey, that was players, guys. Got some players now. Now let's get the crowd fired up. <laughs> Time for a solo. Now that's a perfect curtain call. Shield recharging. Safety comes first on stage. Time to reload. Be back on stage in a jiffy. Ah, bandages hurt. See me? Take that. Now that's a perfect curtain. You found call. some players.
time for an intermission. I need to reload. Reloading. Using med kit. Mesmerizing northern lights. Doesn't it give you a warning? Okay, smooth, baby.
Stealth activated. Fire on them. Enemy kill. All down? Oh, that was easy. <laughs> Silky smooth, baby. Restoring shields. Restoring shield. Need it full. 